cordial. I was pleasant. You were gracious. I was nice. You held the door to the courtroom. I thought the judge would throw rice. You smiled that little wistful smile like the day we said I do. But what you meant was I used to, but now I don't. That nasty smile said we're through. When Charlotte and Pete decided to split, she threw out his favorite sneakers. So he took all of the silverware and the brand new stereo speakers. Then she took both of the fireside chairs and the antique leather table. She gave his golf clubs to the Vietnam vets. The thrift shop loved her sable, but at least she knew he cared for her, 'cause he shouted till he was hoarse. They're still fighting it out. Well, we've had a lovely divorce. When Howard and Jessica called it quits, she knew it was over. God bless her. So she took the drawers from the dresser set and left him the rest of the dresser. He sold the seats from her Thunderbird. She burned his print by Dali. So he recycled her Life magazines every issue since May '43. But at least she knew he gave a damn. Cause she came this close to using force. Last I heard, they're still at it. Well, we've had a lovely divorce. When Benny moved out on Susan, he pulled up half the tiles from the floor. She finally had to call the cops when he tried to split the front door. He cut the sheets and the towels, took the pots, left the lids. When she told me this, all I could think was, "Good thing they didn't have kids." You were too nice for that kind of stuff. You wouldn't even fight for the cat. I offered you weekends and Wednesday nights. No thanks, you said, and that was that. Even sex was polite and tidy. No need to wrinkle the sheets. You got your real kicks, rubbing salt in the wounds of my little defeats. Next time I get married, I'll find a guy who's nice, whose veins are filled with deep red wine and not Perrier on ice. I'll find a guy who'll love me and stay the entire course, and I'll never have another polite and civil, loveless but lovely divorce.